look at how we can create polls in our Microsoft team meetings and workshops. And I'm going to show you our favorite way of doing this at the virtual training team, which is to do it in advance to save us time in the actual workshop itself. So we've got our invite and our meeting all set up. Here it is. And if I just go into that We've got some tabs at the top of the screen here, which allows us to set up our breakout rooms and whiteboards in advance as well. But we, we want to set up some polls. So to do that, I just need to click this plus button to add a tab. And the tab I'm looking for is Microsoft Forms. So let's just add that to this meeting and save it. Um, quick um, heads up for you. The Microsoft Forms is changing to um, polls, so specifically for the use of polling in meetings um, and in our workshops. So that's something that's coming. It's not going to be much different to what we have here, but just notice that it's going to be called um, polls instead of forms coming up. So Teams has updated the way that we can do polls um, lately, which is for the better. So there's some different polls that we can create and we can create as many as we want. We'll just click add new and you can see the three options that we've got currently is a standard multiple choice poll that you're used to. So um, which is your favorite color? Uh, option one, option two, option three. We can type in what options we want and then save that as a draft. Let's just do that for um, the purposes of the demo. Once we've saved it, it appears here, um, ready to go once we start our meeting. Um, let's create another one. So now we've also got um, a quiz option, which means we can actually mark the correct answer. Um, what is one plus one? Um, and we can just put in our, um, our options here. So it's one, two, or three. And then we can actually click the correct answer, which is two. What that means is that once we launch this and our participants have a go at this question, they'll find out whether they've got the question right or wrong. And you can actually download and save after the meeting um, the results from your polls if you want to keep a track of that. So the final one, which is a really nice feature to use, is the word cloud. Um, so we can ask any question at all that we want people to respond to. And then once we launch that, they can put their responses in and the word cloud will build in the chat box. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. So we can add all of these in advance, really straightforward. And then when we actually start our meeting, what you will notice is at the top right hand corner of your meeting where all of your um, controls are, we've now got the polls icon. As you can see, that's got an F for forms that will change soon. But either way, once we click on that, we can see all of the polls that we've created. They're all there, I can just scroll up. And once we click on them, let's click the the quiz. Once we click on that, participants have got in their breakout, sorry, in their um, chat box, they've got this question that pops up for them, just as you can see on the screen here, actually. So I've got the option to go for it. I'm going to click three as my answer and submit it. And I can see that I got that wrong. Oh, dear. Um, but all of these start to build in the chat box for everybody to see. Um, we can then go back to um, let me just sort of close that down, sorry. And um, we can then go back to our workshop and share our slides and do other things like breakout groups, but it might get to the point where we want to share another poll. So the results stay live in there, but I just want to now launch the word cloud to show you how this works. So that launches again, everybody gets this pop-up box. Let me just get rid of those. Where we can put our answers in. So today I'm feeling awesome. I submit that. And then you can see that this starts to, I can put some more in just to show you how this works. Um, I can put more answers in if I want. And what happens, you will see that if people put in the same response, let's put in happy again, then that word gets bigger. So the more people um, put in the same responses, you can see that because it gets bigger and bigger um, in the um in the word cloud and it's all there for everybody to see in the chat box they can access it themselves at any point by clicking on the um, polls tab at the top too and you can save all of this afterwards as well to share and refer back to and that's it it's so straightforward i really encourage you to um, play with polling and use them to get more engagement and um, insight in your virtual workshop so good luck